This is a holiday set that does not fit under a Christmas tree. Unless you have a really huge tree. I think this thing would wrap around this tree like two times. We are looking at the flagship holiday set, the North Pole Central Sleigh Bell Limited by Lionel. This engine has a French horn in it. This train set is 15 feet long which makes it the second longest train in my collection, next to the 20th Century Limited. Lots of elves on this train. We're making toys for all the children. That is not how you spell Yuletide. This train was so close to being perfect. So close. Definitely not going to fit under the Christmas tree. This train is as fun to operate as it is to collect. Welcome back, folks. Hope you're having a great week. The holidays are here, which means it's time to celebrate. And there is no better way to celebrate than with my pick for the O-Gage train set of the year, the North Pole Central Sleigh Bell Limited by Lionel. This is a full-scale, legacy-equipped set. We're going to check out this train and all of its holly jolly glory. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. This train set was announced in the Lionel 2023 Volume 1 catalog just this year, and it showed up with plenty of time to spare. My set came right around Thanksgiving. I had it on the layout for our Thanksgiving party. I made a video earlier this year predicting that this would be the most collectible train set of 2023. But my pick for the number one most collectible set, the North Pole Central Legacy E8 set. What? The world of O-Gage collecting is an interesting one. This year we saw some really great releases in O-Gage. The Vision Line Big Boy, the Dreyfus Hudson, the Decapods, the Northerns, I was even fortunate enough to have my own diesel locomotive made. Remember that one? MTH making a huge comeback with their Hudson offerings and a lot of great diesels. So many great trains this year. But every now and then, a set comes along that really makes some noise. The Sleigh Bell Limited is just that. It is an unbelievably large train with a holiday theme. I mean, how could I possibly pick that as the set of the year? It is exactly those two themes that make this an unusual and interesting choice. For most, this set was either a must-have or a hard pass. Plus, there are so many other holiday and Christmas sets that are far more versatile than this one. This may be true, but there are no others like the Sleigh Bell Limited. The 21-inch passenger cars the massive E8 locomotives. The Sleigh Bell Limited is not a set that fits under a Christmas tree. What we are looking at right now is a traditional loop of Lionel Fast Track with a 36 inch diameter turn. This is a traditional post-war type train that you would normally see under the tree. Most of the Lion Chief sets are around this size. Definitely not gonna fit under the Christmas tree. I think this thing would wrap around this tree like two times and the cars don't even fit on this track. Train collecting has always had those sets throughout the years, dating all the way back to the turn of the century when O-Gage trains first showed up. So you never really know which sets are going to stick and which aren't. But I do predict that the Sleigh Bell Limited is one of those train sets that people will be looking for for years to come. I really lumped this train into the same category as the Polar Express Acela from last year. Unusual in every sense, but I predict that it will become more collectible in the coming years. Is this train collectible? Does it deserve the title of train set of the year? Leave me a comment and let me know.
Let's look at this set. The engines and the passenger cars have these North Pole Central colors that match perfectly all the way from the leading engine to the observation car. This train was so close to being perfect. So close. When I first put this on the track, one of my daughters was admiring it with me. And she looks at me and she says, Dad, you know that Yuletide is spelled wrong on that car, right? I, I walked over and looked at the car and I immediately pulled up the catalog to see if Yuletide has the same spelling. And look, it was wrong in the catalog too. The error was sneakier than Santa himself. It slipped right past me. Does this technically mean that the train was delivered as advertised? Hey, I didn't make it. I'm just gonna run it. Maybe we'll all laugh about this later. Or maybe not. The engines come as a pair, and they're both powered, and they're both legacy equipped. There is some serious power between these two engines. You have four motors pulling all of these passenger cars, and it's one heavy train to pull. Most of the voices on this train come from Santa or his elves. There are tons of Christmas elves on this train. Ho, ho, ho! Let's get this engine fired up. We have lots of presents to deliver. This engine has a French horn in it. And sleigh bells. I'm pretty sure Santa's operating this train. This train is as fun to operate as it is to collect. Your attention, please. The Sleigh Bell Limited is now boarding. Attention, kids and elves. The elf car is now open for eggnog and snacks. Eggnog and snacks on the elf car. The passenger cars were sold as a four-pack, an add-on two-pack, and a Station Sounds diner car. No Timmy on this train. If you are unsure of who Timmy is, Check out my 20th Century Limited video. The passenger cars for this set are really interesting. There's an RPO car, a number of sleeper cars, the Station Sounds Diner car, a dome car, and an observation car. It really creates a striking train. I also like that the North Pole Central logo looks somewhat similar to the New York Central logo. The engines have some pretty cool details on them too. You have these flashing beacon lights, the icebreaker details on the top, and these are some big diesel engines. Each one of these diesels is 17 inches long, so almost three feet of the train is just the engines. This train set is 15 feet long, which makes it the second longest train in my collection, next to the 20th Century Limited. That's a long Christmas train. Joining our Sleigh Bell Limited set tonight are two other popular holiday sets. The most popular being the Lionel Scale Polar Express set. This features the Legacy Berkshire with all of the heavyweight passenger cars. I've also set up, as we've already seen, the Polar Express High Speed Train set, which is modeled after the Amtrak Acela. It's one of those one-of-a-kind train sets with the operating panographs and all of the cool sounds. So I hope you enjoy my pick of the train set of the year, running alongside these other fun holiday trains.